Shalom uvracha mir shalayim ira kodesh. We study this evening together the haftara of parashat beha alotcha, the weekly section of this week. On a personal note, this haftara is the one that perhaps of all the haftarot maybe closest to my heart. Uh, the reason is that this is the first haftara that I ever studied. It is the first haftarah that I ever read. Uh, this haftarah is read twice a year. It's taken from the second chapter of the book of Zechariah. It's read on Parashat Baha'alotacha, but it's also read on the Shabbat of Chanukah. And uh, many years ago, Baruch Hashem, my Bar Mitzvah, I was born on Chanukah, and my Bar Mitzvah celebration was on Shabbat Chanukah. And my father, of blessed memory, taught me the Haftarah, he taught me the parasha. he taught me the Haftarah of Rani V'Sibqi from uh, Zechariah, and even though I've read Baruch Hashem a few Haftarot since then, and even though I've read a few, a few chapters, there's a certain place in my heart which this Haftarah has that no other Haftarah has, and uh, I'm sorry for the personal note, maybe I'm only supposed to be speaking about objective teachings, right? I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention these things. But, uh, uh, so Rani V'Sibqi, the Haftarah, the reason why it's read uh, both on Shabbat Chanukah and on Parashat Baha'u'llah Tacha, is there is a common denominator between those two uh, observances, because one of the emphases in Chanukah is, of course, the menorah, the special candelabra. One of the emphases in, in, the, in the parasha of Baha'u'llah Tacha is also the special menorah, which is mentioned right at the beginning of the Torah section. And therefore you can see the theme, the parallel theme of menorah, both in Baha'u'llah Tacha and in Chanukah. I would like to study together, I'm reading from uh, chapter 2 of, of Zechariah, chapter 2 of Zechariah, uh, the beautiful prophecy here. Uh, we're, we're sitting, we're, we're speaking from Jerusalem, as I mentioned before. If you read sentences 15 and 16, sentences 15 and 16 of the second chapter of Zechariah, and you read about this vision, this vision about how so many nations are going to be joining together with the pathway of God, with the nation of God, and they will all join together in this great, perhaps eschatological vision. And I quote, V'nilvu goyim rabim el Hashem bayom ha'u. Many nations, multitudes of nations, will join together with God on that great day. And those of us living in Yerushalayim, we see multitudes of nations passing through Yerushalayim, perhaps uh, weekly or even daily. Right? Goyim Rabin, many, many nations. We see this vision, this, this concept is mentioned in, uh, in uh, the book of Yeshayahu, the book of Isaiah, it's mentioned in the book of Micha, in the book of Micah. This notion that not only will the Jewish people come to Yerushalayim, Goyim Rabin, they'll feel a certain magnetic pull to God. And Baruch Hashem, we're beginning to feel that a little bit in the holy city. Mm-hmm. And I will dwell, I will dwell in your midst. You know how long we've been reading the book of Zechariah? You know how long we've been studying these prophecies? And there were so many hundreds and hundreds of years of history where they read this, but they read this only as a, 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 a deep-rooted faith that this is going to happen. There's going to be a time when this happens. And Baruch Hashem, in Eretz Yisrael, one begins to see a little bit of the fulfillment right in front of their eyes. So many people coming and asking and investigating, seeking to find the Word of God, seeking to find truth, seeking to find a connection. And then you read sentence 16. God will choose the special section of the Jewish people, a special section of Judah, of the Holy Land, and will once again choose the city of Yerushalayim. And the Baruch Hashem, we can be uh, witnesses to the fact that we sense this Bachar, Od Yerushalayim, what blessings, what blessings are being experienced daily here in the Holy City of Yerushalayim. Bachar, Od Yerushalayim. Once again, the selection of Yerushalayim. So, for so many years, they were reading Zechariah as something of, of the future. There will be a day when this will happen. There will be a day when God will select Yerushalayim. 
And, and I feel that maybe it's important to share that on some level, just walking in the streets of Yerushalayim, on some level, just living in Yerushalayim, studying in Yerushalayim, praying in Yerushalayim, uh, observing Torah in Yerushalayim, trying to be involved in, 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 in acts of kindness in Yerushalayim, just, just seeing the blessing of Yerushalayim, v'shachanti v'tochech, and feeling the special presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, of the Shekhinah in the Holy City, and seeing and experiencing the fulfillment of the words of, of Zechariah. And for so long, you know, the Jewish people were accused of living in denial. For so long, the Jewish people were being accused of, uh, you know, just having to deal with, to grapple with the reality. And uh, so many of our enemies said, never, you're never going back to Yerushalayim. You come, come to terms with what's really happening. You know, be real. There is no Yerushalayim in your future. Jerusalem is only something of your past. And the Jewish people insisted, no, the prophet says, Machar all of Yerushalayim. We're going back to Yerushalayim. We're going back, and the whole nation is going back, and the nations of the world are going to Yerushalayim. And so many people mocked us, and so many people laughed at us. And Baruch Hashem, we read this Shabbat, we read the prophecy of Zechariah, and many of us, Baruch Hashem, here in Yerushalayim, to read the words in the holy city of Yerushalayim. So we pray that the same, the same way the positive, happy blessings of Zechariah are taking place, may all of the happy prophecies, may all of the blessed prophecies, may all of the sacred prophecies of the ingathering of the exiles, of the perfection of the world, of the Mashiach, may we experience it this very week as we study the, the prophecies of Zechariah. And for all those cynics, uh, all those cynics, wherever they may be, whatever background they may be, who think, and the words of the prophets, you know, it's very interesting literature, but has no basis in reality. Maybe they should restudy sections such as our Haftarah, such as the second chapter of Zechariah, and realize that these words were prophetically spoken by prophets of God, where God directed them to teach in the name of, in the name of our Creator uh, visions and understanding of the world that will be. And as we experience the world that is, we understand how true are the words of the prophets. May we learn to appreciate them and to cherish them, to study them, to delve more deeply into them and to experience all the blessings this very week. Thank you so much for listening.